to hang out with Amy today. I was like, what's a backpack haul? Because school ended for me. And I was like, let's go through my backpack because I've had so many things in this backpack this entire year. And because of COVID, I have absolutely no clue what's in here because there may be like no paper because of like all on computer. Um, but let's look in and <laughs> just get right into it. So to start off, um, I think I'm going to start with the front pockets because the front pockets normally probably don't need as much as like the big pockets because the big pockets tend to have everything you need for school. So starting with the small pocket in the front. I have papers and I think I use this more for like a lot of extra papers that I need for math because with math like we had to do like Khan Academy and like worksheets in a sense because we are binders. If I don't have any like room um, I would have pieces of paper and just do it there so I think that's what most of this is. <laughs> oh god. Except for some of these. Courtesy probably from here but like there's like little things I drew. Um, this is an art actually, 3D art, because we had, this is like probably the last week of school, um, and I had nothing much to do, so I just kind of like went through and just drew a couple things, so I'm just like, take all these papers out, Ooh. I have candy wrappers, <laughs> I did not know I had candy wrappers in my bag, I thought like they're just like actual candy because like my teachers gave us candy um last like week the day of the week like on fridays we normally got candy from some of our teachers because we got the week whatever so i have some candy but... bubble wrap bubble wrap must be from like an experiment we did and um i think it was science because we had a penguin habitat and the penguin habitat, I, I used bubble wrap, so that's interesting. I forgot I had bubble wrap in there. Random big white sheet of paper that I'll probably be using this summer. <laughs> Just some other papers that had nothing white on them. Alright, there's so much in this pocket that I never knew what I had. Okay. More, more, um, lollipop things, sticky notes, what's this? This is, a, um, a ticket for music, and I never put it in. I, I don't remember. Just some papers that I had for math that have actual math on it. On calendars this is from February. Oh my god! It's like the, some things like I don't get school lunch. I make my own lunch and pack it every day. So like I have shorts on. Don't that's cool. I have shorts on. Yep. I don't know if you could see that, but what we did is like we always got like the lunch menus, and I never had school lunch, so I'll just keep it in my pocket and really ne never about it oh this is like this quiz and it was just like a little fun activity and you had to like do it and if you read through the instructions completely you would see that you weren't supposed to do anything and of course i messed up a little because like i didn't like see that it was like a tr trick quantum quiz it wasn't an actual quiz it was like a fun quiz um we had the, i think the like eli and I have some math on it. And these are just math, like, actual, like, math equations I have. And I drew something. Okay. Okay, now this is from when I, I had actual art because I have 3D art right now. Or, I'm going to say I did, which is some of these papers in here. But this is from actual art class. And we had to draw, like faces with masks and like positive saying so on this side it just says like marissa loves tommy in it um 
Um, Marissa loves Isaiah. I don't know. We were like just messing around with that. Here's my actual drawing, and it says Marissa, hello, Tommy, in it. We had to do like that. we had to do like a lot of blending, and that's what some of this is. It's just like blending. <clears throat> it's interesting. I haven't like tried blending in a while for like art. Um. This is my two after. I have an empty hand sanitizer. I got this in the beginning of the year. Beginning of the year, halfway through, I use it all every day. After, like right before bus were called, I put the hand sanitizer on, just rub my hands, especially my home too. I would just like wash my hands completely, and that's what I did for the entire year. But I use a different one now, but it's in my lunchbox. So, so in this pocket. <laughs> More math equations. Oh no. Here come the fun things. Um, I need to get lower. Okay, these are just like math equations, more math. I have like a whole pile of math equations in here. Um, random math equation sticky notes because like sometimes like sticky notes i'll have like either math equations sometimes notes because you know so i put my notes on like especially if i need like something to do like homework like i'll come on a sticky note okay but these so these are from actual art and they were what we used to blend um our drawings so they're like q-tips and they're actually used they're for my friends too, like I have mine and my friends, and we just kind of like use them. Don't know why I still have these, but I do. Here comes a fun thing, which is why I was saying this. I have empty Jolly Ranchers. And two lollipops. One is a Dum Dum, which I'm probably going to eat soon. And one is a Watermelon Tootsie Pop. And I have a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. Grant still had some candy in here. Oh no. And I think that's all for this pocket. But I was saving this for last. Because this is a mask holder. So you could put this on a keychain or your keys or just in a pocket. And I kept it in this pocket. Um, so at lunch, what I did for the first like week, I never really use it after because I put my mask in my lunchbox but you would put your mask in this and it would hold your mask during lunch and this so if, i don't know if you guys know this but you would put it on your head and you put your mask like on these like buttons and like it, you, you don't have to like have your ears hurt because your mask isn't on your ears it's on these buttons so this actually comes in handy um because my ears hurt every day for the masks and I've been wearing it for like 180 days because we never got snow days this year because you know I was online so even if like we had snow day it was like a half day at home so but moving on to the pocket above this one here this one this one I don't know what I have in here <laughs> um oh starting off paper I think I made this yesterday yes I know what it is. Oh god. So, yeah. Okay, so this was a project um, for like science, I remember. And it was like, if the world increased by three degrees Celsius, what would happen? And I just kind of have four little text boxes explaining what happened and here we have flooding glaciers disappearing heat waves and dried up land and it's just a, like a big poster that i made like in the middle of the year for science and it took me a while yes it did it took a very long time to do because it was such you know a big piece of paper i remember sitting at my desk working on it that night and it took me a while because I had to get them. I had a lot of research to do too. I got this yesterday also because it was the last day of school. 
Um, I'm making this today because last night I never had time. So, yeah. But I got a rice treat that I never eat. And it's so good. It's in the wrapper. Um, but, yeah, rice crispy treat. Uh, I have my house key in here. I'm not going to show the actual key because I don't know. Like, yeah. But, like, I have my house key. Um. And that's that. But I have some notes that, like, do submission for Black and Body 2 for my music class. And there's, like, some notes that, like, from, like, what I had to do for, like, submissions or something. Because I had a lot of work this year. And I couldn't always, like, remember it all. So I normally put it, like, on stickies or a piece of paper and just put it somewhere. Like, so I had my phone in this pocket. And when I took my phone out, I always saw the papers. And I was like, oh, okay, I have to do this. Moving on to another pocket. These are where a lot of the big things happen. So, starting with this one. Oh my god. Oh no. There's a lot in here. Starting with this. So, this is our metric monsters when we're doing the metric system. And we were kind of learning about how these things, like, corresponded. And here's my metric monster. This is, like, the beginning of the year. It's like Halloween, and I remember, making, I remember making this, we were virtual that day, and I was making it at my grandma's, and it was really fun. Electric monster, you gotta love it. Okay, right, next thing. Oh god, I think I love this one. We're also, I'm gonna also show everything in the folder. Which is probably gonna be a long video. I may have to do a couple more videos after this because it's such a long video. Okay, this folder right here was my art folder, my actual art folder. And in it I have this and this. Okay, this. Let's look at this first. Oh, it's something for like a group project for ELA. I finished it. But, like, I put it in here because it's my ELA folder. So, um, yeah, I submitted it and stuff, and I got a grade. So, I got 100. Don't worry. Um, this was test corrections. She gave just it out just in case anyone wanted test corrections. Um, I didn't want to do the test corrections because I had a really good grade. And just in case, like, I got an another answer wrong, it drops your grade. So, like, I'm not going to take the chance. But I got a really good grade on, like, the actual quiz, so I didn't need the task correction. This is, yeah. I started with the art. <laughs> oh, another thing from Hatchet in ELA. Okay, moving on to the art. Okay, this was, like, a kaleidoscope, and you wrote your name around all these, like, pieces. Here. Um, all these pieces and you colored it in and it looks really really cool and that's like a really fun thing to do when we did it in class I'm probably going to show all the artwork I'll probably just explain it it's a lot um, and I also have this this was my antiquities this was my kind of just like go to when I had nothing better to do like in class and I finished all my work and I would just kind of sit there drawing in this. It was like a little art book. So that's my color. I had a little caterpillar because it was like an art thing. I had to do a caterpillar. I have a money tree on this page. And you'll see why in a second. And on this other page, we had different kinds of food combinations with like animals. And also we have the money tree that my friend Shelby made. And I just had to put it in another page because we had to, like, do it. It was, like, $100 on each, like, each tree branch. Here we have gardening gloves and tools that I actually drew this myself, which I'm really actually happy about. Um, on the other page, this was gardening tools. This is March 
Um, this is birds. I just want to look at like drawing prompts. But this is birds. Um, I'm trying to go fast because like I have a lot. Protect yourself, COVID-19. And it's like a mask frog. So it's a frog with like a mask. It's kind of like a toad, so it's like harder to draw. The next one is a rainy day drawing prompt. And a new sign that says like no return. Oh, and the Scorpio. I thought it was a new sign. It's a Scorpio sign. Because it's kind of like I drew the Scorpio sign. And I drew on like everything thing on the, um, the umbrella. I actually did this myself. Everything in here is free handed from me that I use some pictures off Google, but I draw drew it myself. I didn't put like say here's my computer. And I put it up and traced it. I just did this all freehand and it was a lot of work, but it was really fun. Next we have silly sandwiches. Who knows? And he's kinda of made like different things and it was like a sandwich. It was really really fun. To just like draw and put buns. It was really funny. The next one is the wind blew with your um the wind the wind blend with your host Hector and I have that paper that goes with this here and I drew a fish dog cow which is top one um like a frog and human over here. <laughs> Um, bear and goat, and a pig and I think a rabbit. That was really fun to make. And I think there's, oh, that's it. That's that. And that was also like really fun to make because I was like funny and silly. The next thing is we got a lot of watercolors, so there's probably gonna be some watercolor things. Okay, this is our watercolor flowers. I have a base, the portrait thingy on the back, the backdrop, and all the flowers. Um, I was kind of doing abstract, and we just had to like make flowers and just watercolor, and it took like a week to do, a week or two, but it was really fun, and the end result was really cool. Okay, moving on. The next thing. Oh, our name bugs. So I'm gonna hold it up like this. But it has your name going this way and this way. And it's a name bug. So your name is this way and this way. And it makes a bug. And you kind of like make eyes and connect things. And you just color. And it was really, really fun to make. And I drew little hands on some of them. And yeah. So it's like a name bug. And I was like, cute to make. Because like you got to draw your name in cursive. And draw it backwards. And it took a lot of practice. But it was really fun. So some of these actually have the newer um, assignments we did in the front and the, like, the older assignments in the back because that's how I just had my papers. This assignment was, I think, an animal of our choice like that made us be like us and you kind of did abstract. So I did a flamingo because flamingos were just my favorite animal when I was like younger. And I had a beanie boo of that, like a flamingo, and my grandma always kept it for me. And I don't know, I slept, I fell in love with flamingos ever since. So I drew a flamingo. Here I have some like up and down curves. Uh, I have some like circles here. I have like a bumblebee and like, some lines and just like zigzag pattern on the legs. Okay, now moving on. Again. Oh, this is like. I think March. It's my leprechaun. I drew a leprechaun because we were doing like sort of Irish. I think that's in March. I'm not sure. We were kind of doing some Irish things and it was like really fun. Oh god. Okay, well, that's interesting. I just dropped everything on the ground, so I'm gonna go grab those. And yeah, because I didn't really realize that I just dropped like everything on the ground. And I have music on it, which I'm confused about. Okay, well I just realized there's music papers in here too. And the music papers, I think, oh. And I think the music papers were from 
banned, so it also makes banned things in here. This. I think I had the regular paper to go with this, but I'm not sure if I do or don't. But what it was is you kind of drew your name. I think it was, oh, actually, that was a name bug. Yeah, uh, not the name bug. The kaleidoscope, which is what this was. So this is like my rough cop or my rough draft of that. This is just something for ELA. We did a color wheel, primary colors, secondary colors, um, and all that. And here's some things from Band. Um, it was like sight reading, some sheet music. Um, eighth notes and more sheet music. Travel class. Um, and we're learning the notes too. We have like um, half notes and half rests, whole notes and half notes. Yeah, it was really fun. And I don't think from ELA because a lot of some, like a lot of these papers in here was like quiz stuff from ELA because like a lot we did with like early like not early but like what we did was like we had like our quizzes but we have like these papers like to go with like we had to read a passage and then the question questions on the quiz will correspond to those and we had to like do that which was really fun. And that's why I have <coughs> something <coughs> in there. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> I have a tickle in my throat and if I cough, I'm sorry. Okay, now this. Oh, just another thing for like lunch menus. I'm not gonna go through that. That's just a lunch menu. Oh, so, like, we had to, like, an ELA test review, like, on words, so I just had, like, all my words and the definitions, and I quiz myself every night on those, and my mom also helped me with that. So, moving on, we have my math folder. Now, this math folder, I think it has a music, like, packet stuff on in here. It's going to be a lot. I am not going to come, like it all but I'll probably like show most of it. Starting with these, um oh it's like little music like quizzy thing quiz things we did. Okay, this we have rock and body rock and body two alpha four um a rhythm exercise another rhythm exercise drum duets Um, a rhythm duet by Miss Eismeyer. Peanut Butter Jam. Now, Peanut Butter Jam. It's a song, and it's really fun. Peanut Butter Jam. Get it when you can. So, I can probably, like, sing it, like, listen to it later. You can probably switch up the Peanut Butter Jam song. And, like, if you look up videos, you probably hear the music. It's really cool. It's really cool. We have a Do Re Mi Pot packet. And we also have... So me, so re me, so me do on here, and we just kind of like did all the notes and wrote things for them. We have a poetry slam. Have up the little crocodile and fruit shining tail, and that's like dig it, dig it, dig it. Have up the little crocodile and fruit is shining tail. It's like that. And it was like a beatbox kind of thingy, so two parts. And we just have a food wrap. Ice cream, ice cream. Give me ice cream. I was like, I like that. Pepperoni. This was just like sticks, so like you clap sticks together. We didn't do this, so I'm not really sure what this is. And this was... Do, do, re, mi, do, re, chi, do, mi, mi, so, so, mi, fa, re, mi, so, 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 la, so, fa, so, fa, mi, 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 fa, mi, re, so, do, and I was like rounds. Um, I'm obviously not singing right now because I don't feel like singing, but this is really fun to do. 
it was like we sung it every day that we had to like warm up and it was like really fun next folder or thing i have in here okay now i have a planner and i'm not gonna show it in the planner um so i have to like take everything out so i'll do that later i have a social studies notebook that we never used we were supposed to but we never did i think we used one page on the entire book and it was i think like something about geography like physical geography it was like something about geography like droughts and we never really like, used that this entire year i think we used it like once in the beginning of the, the year but that was like about if we didn't do a lot with it this green folder was for miss barone's class which was smart money and so we kind of do like stories and this is just a magazine that we had to like use and i'll show you what we did this is like what kind of makes you you as a value wheel it's really fun to do so big this i did hand wrote for everything and it was like health study mastery school growth accuracy which was on the value wheel but we just had to like write it on like something on a document a bunch of story thingies we did like part one you know our unit one part two values um process making decisions um like a story like how would you respond like a money and finance crossword puzzle and just like um our story rubrics This is like all little pieces to another assignment that I'm not going to show. Um, it was like a collage. That was, it was a collage. And I have a rubric, a vocabulary, and needs and wants. And that's all in that folder. Um, let's go to social studies. Social studies. I have a lot of my math, um, like, tests reviews um study guides more studies test reviews like i have like all that test reviews and like different things we did during the year or that after and a couple things from social studies like this is me like in the beginning of the year like the local area there's not like much in here and then this was just A science folder. In the science folder, this was all like Gary Paulson stuff for ELA. Um, ELA notes. I have so many ELA notes. It's scary. Um, and these. <coughs> um, lunch menu. Um observations like quantities and quantitative and this this was what i wanted to show so i'm in the yearbook and i had to do two pages of candidates and i think i had to do something else i forgot what the heck was oh, i remember but i don't have it like printed up so one page and another page of just my work and yeah Yep. Yeah. That looks great.
Okay. Oh, it was like my room numbers. Like my grades and my lockers and stuff. And then I have a book. This book is When You Reach Me. And I started reading it this year, but I never really finished. It's a really good book. I recommend it. Okay, moving on to the last and final pocket. Oh, wow, it's a pocket. Wow, this is still such a long video. It's probably gonna take a long time to upload. <laughs> through my lunch bag. I'm just gonna put it on the ground and go take everything out later. This. Oh, it was like something for science that we did and it was a crossword puzzle. So I have like the up and down and the crossword things there. I have my pencil case, which I will put everything away very soon. I may make a video of that later, so I'll keep this off to the side. I have my Chromebook charger, because in middle school you have a Chromebook, and you have to take it home every night and charge it. So, I have my charger, which needs to go back in my bag in a second, but... Conversation for science. <sighs> Beautiful. This was my lab coat, and I'm excited to show this because this was like what was about me. Like my nickname, my place, my not my place, my favorite place that I want to go. Uh, I've never worked on my free time, most like childhood memory, most valuable event. That occurred in your life, and those are really fun to get. I have gloves. When it was really cold, um, like in December, when I was walking down the bus, I always have gloves because it was really cold out outside. Um, another thing from Eli. And a crayon. Crayons that I find, I'm putting in this bag because I need these. dispenser. Oh, that needs to go downstairs. Some trash that I have. More trash and like, I don't know, it's still like a random thing. A ruler, because like, I was going to measure a lot of things and like, line up a lot of my things, so I always had that. And so on more notes. I have a digital calculator. Oh, I feel like crayons and stuff. Another pencil, more trash. And a piece of the broken tape dispenser that I broke. Um Okay. Interesting. Now I know I break tape dispensers. More trash and crayons. Like a lot of this is gonna be crayons because I've had crayons running around my entire backpack this entire year because of the box the crayons were in broke in the beginning of the year, so now they're all running around my back my backpack. And it sucks, so now I have to put them all in here. supposed to go through like the crayons and like put them all like in like something that I never did. Just never had time. Okay. The crayons. Another thing for Eli.
I was from yesterday, it was like a little like, um, my teacher said a question we had to answer in our group. It was really fun. It was stressful because like she kept going for like two seconds into the question and was like, oh, that's the what question. She's like, we gotta type or write really fast. I was like, okay, whatever. So I was confusing. Crayons, crayons, and more crayons. I hate going to the bag just finding crayons. There's a couple more. last couple of crayons. Okay, moving on from the crayons. Got them all in my nails. We have, I found another crayon. I have my binder from so, um, Science. I have to make that later. It's beautiful in my opinion. A binder that says has like paper in it that I never really use. I forgot what this is for. I think it was like language arts. And I have a math binder. All six units are in here. Yeah, that's a lot. was like a lot in, okay. in like the bag which like held everything up so interesting the last thing I have is my computer which I'm not going to be out because like it's like in here but I do have my computer in here and yeah. pretty much it is what it is and that's kind of it but thank you guys so much for watching if you guys want to see me like go through my like pencil case and put them all away i guess i could do that but we'll see i have a lot to sort out between all of this but thank you guys so much for watching please like subscribe and comment what you just want to see next and please share the video to get like with more out there but thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys later bye